Hey guys, this is Silverlava, and welcome back to episode 5 of my Room to Room tutorial series. Um, this episode might be going up a bit late at night, um, just because I had a lot of stuff come up recently, but I did promise that it was going to go up today, on Saturday. So, um, it's 7 o'clock now, and I still have to edit and upload after this, so that might take until like 10 or 11 at night. But I'm still going to do it. But, okay, so anyway, to make this short, we're going to go right on to room number 33. Okay, so, this is the start of the dropper rooms, I guess you could call them, because that's where the idea came from. Basically, you're just jumping down and trying to get into the hole. And hitting the side will kill you, so you want to try to make it. And it doesn't matter which one you go into, they all lead to the same place. If I could actually make this, I could show you that. Hang on, is there an easy one to get through? I don't even know. <laughs> um, Here we go, let's try this one. There we go. Okay, so then it all leads to the same place, and the button is right here, and that was room 33. Okay, uh, room number 34. Um, another dropper thing, except this is a bit harder. Now, the interesting thing about this room is that, I'm not sure if anyone noticed, but every single space in this uh, fall here is filled up exactly once. So if you look down, there's uh, three layers of blocks, and... Every single slot, so like this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm talking about like the block, the blocks here, not not that wall, but the block next to it this way. So like next to this and this right here. Down there, there's exactly one, and then next to this one right here, there's exactly one, and then exactly one all the way around the room. Although they're at different layers, so you can get through them. Um, except for two spots in the room, which are the two window spots. So those are the only two places where there are not blocks covering them up. Which means that if you jump at the side, that's the easiest place to get it. In fact, right here is definitely the, mo the easiest place. If you jump right from the side and move forward, as long as you don't hit that block right there, you should be able to easily make it down. In fact, I think I can back up. There you go. Yeah, so that's the easiest part to do it. The other side, you can do it pretty much the exact same way. That's all you have to do to get through this room. And moving on to room number 35. Alright, so this room is another dropper room. Now this one is a bit glitchy. Um, I'm not sure why. If you fall down here, there's an arrow pointing at a lever. So if you saw that, there it was. And your goal is to fall down and hit the lever. If you make it all the way down to the water, which I'll try to do in a second, I never figured out a strategy for this, or I did at some point, but I forget it. Uh, I think it, I think you're supposed to go just go around this first this first layer here, uh, or you can do the same trick with the windows because I think the windows the spots aren't filled up until the very bottom to get the light down there. Uh, okay, so let's try let's try moving like this, and then this way. Nope. Okay, whatever. So, um, there's a weird, random glitch with this one. If you're running while you fall, it's possible for you to survive for some reason. So, I don't know, just landing on a random block sometimes. Yeah, right there. Do you see that? I just survived that fall. So that wasn't intended, and you can hit the lever going down, but it's extraordinarily difficult, so it's completely okay for you to do that, um, just if you know how to do it. So if you fall down here, there's lava here, just in case you fell under the water but you didn't hit the lever. Then if you go through here, um, the lever opened up this block right here, and the button is right in this room. Okay, room number 36. If you look down, there's just a button right here. And if you fall down past the button and miss it, you land down in this water, and there's two lights on the ceiling, and some lava right here that you can kill yourself in. And then all you have to do is press the button, which should be pretty easy to do. Okay, well I failed there. There you go. A quick way to kill yourself is if you move fast enough, you can actually hit that ledge right there. Instead of going in the lava. I met, failed there. Um, but anyway, might be kind of difficult, but that's okay, because these are the last few rooms. Um, so I'm going to do some, I'm going to press it, but I want to be in survival mode when I press it, just because the next room is going to be interesting. So here we go. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, game of zero, and clear. Okay. So, that's how you get through room 36. I don't want to take too much time here, because I want to make sure this gets up today. But you just keep falling until you can press this button, and there's nothing else to this room. Now, the next few rooms, we're going to get interesting. Ready? Room number 37. Okay, so, if you were to actually fall and press the button there... You would fall right here and take some damage as you teleported, um, but I pressed it from the bottom there so it didn't happen to me. It's okay, so you can see, as we enter room 37, we get slowness and blindness. 
And if we walk to the edge, we can fall down into the water that is below here and get out here. And now tip is jumping makes you move faster. And there's this thing right here, fall down, and the button is right there. All right, now in the next room, some sounds start playing, and we get mind fatigue and hunger, which means you punch slowly, and our hunger starts to go away after the saturation leaves us. And at this point, the um, the game mode has been put into easy mode just so our health and hunger can degenerate, but mob spawning is off anyway. Okay, so we got some uh, random and K text here. If we jump down, same exact thing as last time, falling down. If you look at the back here, um, nothing yet, but the block is on the side, which you should recognize. Then the last room, we get more sounds added, and then we also get uh, nausea, and, nausea and poison. And if we jump forward very slowly, we can get all the way down here with the sounds playing. Sorry if you can't hear me over that. It's supposed, to be, it's supposed to make you scared, it didn't really work though. So if you go over here by jumping, you can see that this is actually covered with uh, signs with random text on them. And over here is the final button of the map. So as soon as you press that to get to room 40, the sounds start, the sounds stop, all the effects go away, and our health and stuff stops coming back. It's because it was just switched to peaceful again. And we enter room number 40. So room number 40 is the last room of the map. If we come down here you can see there's signs. Okay, so, thanks for playing Room to Room by Silver Lava. Sorry it took so long to get this out, I hope it was worth it. Big thanks to all the people that played the beta version and gave me suggestions on how to make it better. Credit to Green11 for rooms 18, 24, 27, and 35. I didn't go over 35, but that was just, uh, it was something. Uh, right, it was, um, the it was like falling and, I don't remember why I gave him credit for 35, but just probably something, and it was probably something a little anyway. So there you go, that's that's it. Yeah, and I, I talked about the ones for those others. And then Lego Scar and Actual Crash Gaming, for, who were the only ones who gave me suggestions on that video, so thanks a lot to you guys. Um, and there's a little joke here. This isn't the first room, or is it? It's up to you. Um, so, yeah, if you looked over here, there's a button right there, but we'll get to that later. Okay, and this says top row of the signs, the thank you stuff, bottom row is extra stuff you should probably also read. If you're looking, you can probably notice that this is like very similar to room one stuff. If you broke broken locks in this map, then I assumed you knew better. Cheaters. Made by me, again, this sign will never stop being pointless, by the way. And this is talking about these videos right here, which you should already know about. So, yeah, I'll be uploading tutorial and discussion for all the rooms to my channel a few weeks after this map goes up. Watch out for that. Um, if you're watching this video, then that's what I'm talking about here, so there you go. And this sign has words on it. Not nearly as amazing now. Okay. So, after reading all that, you might notice there's a button here, even though this is supposed to be the last room. If you press it, it takes you to room 1. Now, if you're smart, you'll notice that this is not actually room 1, because the first room 1 opened up to the spawn back there, and right now this is closed. So this is a different room 1, and there's one last secret in this duplicate of room 1. So all the signs are the same up to here. This is the first room, or is it? Good luck. And then I added this extra word here on this sign. It says again. And if we press this, it's going to stop for a second because it's taking us all the way back to the beginning, and this is the actual room too. So, there's a few more things I want to talk about, especially at the end of the map, so let me get over there. Alright, so here we are. We're currently right outside room number 37, which is right there. And then we got 38, 39, 40, and the duplicate room 1 is right there. Um, so out here we have just a few command blocks. These are the ones that play the sounds. I can show you all the sounds here. So this is just sand, stone, uh, swordfish, gas moan, um, zombie pigman, and gravel stepping. So when the command block, when, okay, where is it? Here, right here, there's a massive, massive command block. This is room 37. Um, here, this is it right here. So this sets the block of redstone wire to right here this block right here which starts activating all these command blocks and then in the next room once you complete that one uh, there's this command block it's another piece of redstone right here so that adds all the sounds and then this right here sets both those to air there's one of them this is one of the command blocks and uh, the other one is somewhere here actually maybe underneath yeah there's the second one so it sets both those redstone wires to air so that's why you stop hearing the sounds and it also I think I showed you over here sets it back to peaceful somewhere there you saw it at some point i think 
Yeah, there it is. Difficulty zero. Okay, so that's the how the sounds are playing. Now, there's one last thing about the map that I didn't see anyone notice out of the few people that I saw who completed the map. If we go to room number 39, which is where it starts, or where it ends, I guess, if you're going in order. If you come in here, you probably notice that this is very similar to room number one in the beginning. So, if we go down here, that sign is obviously completely screwed up. And then this right here, this is actually very similar to room number one right here. Even like the two lines in the top here, I'm pretty sure this actually says room to room by Silver Lava right here. Um, I'm, all these other signs, they actually say random things. If you really want to know, you can open up this up in MC Edit and see what I typed. It's a lot of random stuff. It talks about if anyone's actually reading this, then props to you. But I'm not going to do that right now because it's boring. Alright, and then if we continue this... We can move on to room number 38. Now, if you remember room number 2, it was almost exactly the same, except the block was changed. If you look at room 38, it's the same thing. The block is to the side. Now, if you remember room 3, it was exactly the same as room number 30... It's exactly the same as room number 37 right here. With the lapis block being down there. Room number 4 was the room where uh, the button what you had to jump down and then go into the wall to get the button and there was a thing to kill yourself at the bottom in case you missed it which is right here the exact same it's almost the exact same size here's the button that kill yourself if you missed it there's the button you had to get to except now instead of being in the wall well those are the two blocks I placed earlier um, now instead of being inside the wall you actually press it as you fall down which is the same as it was in the beta version of this map before I changed it so that's the same exact puzzle there. After people said make it easier, I put an indent, but I also put it here in room number 36. Okay, moving on to room number 5. Room number 5 was the same, almost the exact same thing as room number 4, but instead of a button in that place, there was a lever. Pretty much the same thing here. There's a lever that you have to press on the way down, falling instead of indent. There's a lava thing in case you lose, and there's a way into a separate room with the button in it. Okay, room number 6 um, is similar to room number 34 in the same way. Room number 6, I believe, had, um, let's see. Right, room number 6 was where it started. To, room number 6 was the beta room. Okay, so this isn't similar at all to room number 6, so never mind about that. Room number 6 was the room where uh, there was beta and you're supposed to go into the lava. So this isn't similar at all. I guess I missed that, but if we go back to this room... Room number 7, which is similar to this, was the first room that there was blockage on the way down, which is the same thing here, this blockage here. Room number 8 was the room where you had to go back up, um, parkour your way back up to the top, which is not the same in here, actually I have no idea. Right, I remember what this is, uh, I have to go into the top. I know what I'm doing right now guys, this is totally all planned, script written out and stuff like that. So yeah, room 8 was the one where you had to, uh, there was a button behind you when you started, like that, piston. Uh, there was a block behind you when you started, and you had to look down and do something down there, and then come back up and get to the button. Now in this room, you just died to get up, and that other, in room 8, you had to parkour, but the same thing, the block, is, the button is right there. Um, before you flip the lever, you can see the block is up, just the exact same it is in room 8. Now, similarly to room number 9 is right over here. In room 9, uh, there was water behind you when you started, which if I uh, undo these levers right here, or I undo that and no other lever, one lever specifically, undo that lever, you can see it's the exact same as it was in room 9, with when you completed it, water fell down, you could go up, and you went back and up to the button. And this time the button is above you, just to make it faster instead of that way. But it was supposed to be exactly the same. So there you go. And I believe this extends for one more room. Room 10 was the... Uh, hang on. Let's see. Is this similar? No. Okay. So there you go. That was the first nine rooms repeated backwards in the last nine rooms, excluding room 40, because that was the the ending room. But yeah, there you go. I didn't see anyone who noticed that it was like getting similar as you went, except for room 6, which I apparently forgot to make similar. But there you go. I think that's it for room to room. That's all the secrets, pretty much.
I might have forgotten a few and a few I didn't say if you want to look through the map yourself and see if you can find some uh, but probably not um, that's probably me just trying to make you go back to the map and look around for something that's not even there anyway I'm gonna stop talking now while I'm standing on top of room what room is this is this 35 this is the air on it uh, no this is room 34 I don't even care okay I don't care so thanks for watching <laughs> room to room tutorial my name is silver lava and i will see you in the next video which should hopefully be a new series if i planned everything right but that's not the first time i promised that and it's not happened so i guess we'll see if it's ftb or an actual new series but anyway my name is silver lava and i will see you next time goodbye